Welcome to the Super Wildcard Weekend NFC Edition. The playoffs are here. The regular season's over. No more guessing. Is your team going to make it? Is your team going to miss it? Is your team going to lose to the Jaguars? No, it's over. We have all 14 teams. Let's get into the breakdown. Let's get into the NFC. First matchup on the docket, you got the Eagles versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's talk about the Bucs. You got Tom Brady leading the NFL in touchdown and yards. He's my MVP. I know Aaron Rodgers is the favorite, but he's my MVP. Injuries are getting to the Buccaneers, but they're getting some guys back. It looks like Levante David's going to play. Leonard Fournette might play. They might get Gio Bernard back. And honestly, they have a legitimate team. They're getting the defense healthy. They're getting the offense healthy. You would love to have Chris Godwin. That's a huge loss, but they're getting rolling a little bit. They're still winning a bunch of games. And as long as nobody retires in the middle of the game, they should be fine. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Antonio Brown. As I said that you, you act like Kanye West and you had your Taylor Swift moment in Jets Stadium. Doesn't mean you have to start hanging out with them now. I mean, these guys are just parading around town. Antonio Brown is just throwing gas to the fire, but the Bucks still have a lot of great receivers. They signed John Brown, which is not nearly as good as Antonio Brown, but a little depth piece doesn't hurt. I mean, look at what Le'Veon Bell did for them. Just, you need these guys to pop in with all the injuries that they have. But you gotta talk about the Eagles as well. They're here to knock out the Bucks. They're here to play spoiler. They got Jalen Hurts and Jalen Hurts needs the ball out if they're going to win this game. Simple as that. Bucks last year, they struggled with a running quarterback, Taylor Heineke, and they almost lost to Washington in the first round. I mean, they were this close to losing to Washington in the first round. Eagles, if you're going to play spoiler, Jalen Hurts has to be that running quarterback. He has to run around. He has to throw the ball. I know the Eagles feel good about their running game, but the Bucks are good at stopping the running game when it's the running backs. They're very good at that. Probably the best team in the league. It's the running quarterbacks that give them issues and open up the passing lanes. So Eagles, if you want to win this game, you got to run the ball with your quarterback and you got to throw the ball down the field. Defense, defense is okay for the Eagles. A lot of injuries on that side. But right now they're trying to fly Eagles fly. Fly Eagles fly. That's what they're doing. That's what the Eagles fans want. They also just got a first round pick for Carson Wentz. So this team has three first round picks. I know a lot of people don't think that the Eagles, this is their year to win it, but they got a shot. They're in the dance. And that's all that really matters. If you get hot at the right time, anybody can win the dance. And of course, this team, last time they played Tom Brady in the playoffs, well, it didn't go so well for Tom Brady. So they're hoping for a repeat of that. Next matchup on the list, we got the six seed San Francisco 49ers facing off in Dallas against the number three seed Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? These are two of the hottest teams in the NFL. 49ers, they are killing it right now. That defense looks great. Bosa coming off the edge. The defense, Fred Warner, everybody's playing well. And they got Debo. No, not that Debo. Debo Samuel. The rum game is top notch. They can run on everybody. It's a Shanahan thing. It's in his blood. It's in his veins. If you're a Shanahan, you can run the ball. I will say if you're a fantasy football owner, maybe you don't like the way he runs the ball, but the 49ers can run the ball. The scheme open up things for pretty much any player that's back there. And George Kittle is a man among boys. This dude is a monster. I think Kittle might be the best tight end of the league, maybe even above Kelsey, because if he had Patrick Mahomes throwing him the ball, he would be stiff arming people left and right, and he would just be an absolute beast. Um, he has a little bit of Rob Gronkowski in him, then, where he just doesn't like he doesn't care about his body, and he's going to be injured a lot. He's already had some injuries. Gronk is the exact same way, but I love George Kittle. I love the fierceness that this 49er team plays with. If Jimmy G can keep playing consistently, they have a legitimate shot to win this game, and they're a team that I don't think anybody wants to play, especially the Green Bay Packers. If you're a Packers fan, you do not want to see the 49ers win this game because it becomes deja vu. It's uh, Groundhog's Day all over again. You guys have a terrible record against the 49ers. I live here in the Bay Area. My best friend's a Packers fan. He talks smack to all his 49er friends in the area, and it hasn't gone well lately, so 49ers... If they win this game, they can start rolling it and they might even play the Packers in the playoffs. So 49ers keep it moving, but they're running into another hot team. I said the 49ers are one of the hottest teams in the league. Dallas Cowboys are also one of the hottest teams in the league. Uh, this, this Dallas team is different. The Dallas Cowboys are known for failing in the playoffs. They haven't been good in decades, since the 90s. They mess up in the playoffs. Everybody knows that. But it's usually just an offense first team. They have a good quarterback. They got a Tony Romo, who I believe is a good quarterback. Or they have a Dak Prescott. And then the defense sucks. Well, um, 
Things have changed. Dan Quinn has brought a whole new defense. Micah Parsons, rookie, has 13 sacks. I mean, that's insane. He's first team all pro this year. He just got voted today and he has 13 sacks as a rookie. That's unbelievable star. Trayvon Diggs leading the league in picks with 11. He's making a name for himself. Nobody really knew him too much, but they did see him on hard knocks. And this has to be one of the only times I've ever seen a team play well that was on hard knocks that has a legitimate chance to win the Super Bowl. Dak is balling out. He's one of the best players in the league when he's healthy. And honestly, Watching that game against the Eagles last week, it was a lot of backups for the Eagles. But one thing I did notice is Cedric Wilson can play. And if Cedric Wilson is your third option and he can play, that means when Amari Cooper's covered, when you have CeeDee Lamb covered, then you got Cedric Wilson. The team is just loaded, overall loaded on offense. And the defense just keeps getting better and better with all these big play players. And that's huge. So who am I going with in this matchup? You got one hot team in the Niners. You got another hot team in the Cowboys. I'm going chalk. I'm going Cowboys. I think that this team is ready to make a run. I think that they could win the whole thing. I think that I would not want to play them. As a Bucks fan, I don't want to play the Cowboys, probably less than any other team. That Cowboys team is loaded to the max. And I think that they're going to win this and they're just going to keep rolling and rolling. And we might even be talking about a, a Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys this year. I don't think it's as insane as it has been in years past. I always used to, you know, crap on the Cowboys. This year is not the case. They look legit. And then the final matchup of the playoffs, the Monday night matchup, the, you know, which I don't like at all. I don't like that they're playing on Monday night. It kind of screws these teams for the next round if they make it past this round. But we have the five seed, the Arizona Cardinals against the four seed, the Los Angeles Rams. We're in tiebreaker central. These guys played twice, divisional rivals. They split them, both of them. And both teams have kind of skid into the playoffs. Matt Stafford has been playing like Jimmy Winston. He's, he's eating those Ws in a terrible way. He's thrown like eight picks in the last four weeks. He's just given the ball up. And sometimes you watch him throw the ball and he literally just, he just throws it up. He literally just throws it up. And if he throws it more than 30 yards straight, if I see him throw it like that, I almost already know it's gonna get picked off. It's like, he's just lobbing it up to anybody. It's not an alley oop. You're not throwing it to LeBron. You're not D Wade. Like you gotta get the ball to the guy. So Rams have been super frustrating because I thought they were the best team in the NFL like four or five weeks ago. Run game should be better. They're getting Cam Akers back from injury, which is good for them. Cooper Cup is the best receiver in the league this year. I still think Devontae Adams is a better receiver overall, but Cooper Cup is that dude. He's 100% legit. And that defense is loaded with stars. You got your Aaron Donald. You got your Jalen Ramsey. I mean, Von Miller, I know he's old, but it's good to have that Super Bowl winning presence in there. And they brought the beard back. They brought the man, the Charger, the Raven, the former Ram. Eric Weddle was back in the building. Why? I don't know. Maybe he's just a coach on the field, coach off the field kind of thing. I mean, to get really anything out of Eric Weddle after he's been gone for almost two years is pretty crazy, but they did it. So it could be a good thing for the team. Rams are interesting. Rams are an interesting team. They need to start being more consistent and they just need Stafford to not throw the game away. Just like Jameis used to do, he threw the game away. You can't have Matt Stafford throwing the game away and then they should be in good shape. But then you got the Arizona Cardinals. Now, Kyler doesn't look the same since the injury. He's, you know, it's still lingering. They probably might maybe get J.J. Watt back, which is insane. I mean, he got hurt just not too long ago. People said he's out for the year for sure. It's like he was in some sort of like metabolic chamber just waiting for his chance and soaking himself in Epsom salt. I didn't even know there's that much Epsom salt that you could soak yourself in to come back from that injury. The Cardinals, they have a lot of weapons. They had a lot of heat. They were the hottest team to start the NFL season. They were the last undefeated team, but you know what? Last year, the Steelers were the last undefeated team and they got smacked in the playoffs by the Cleveland Browns in the first round. So sometimes it's maybe not the best to be the hottest team in the beginning. If you peak in the beginning and then you're struggling towards the end once you get to the playoffs, those aren't the teams I like to bet on. I don't feel nearly as confident about the Cardinals as I would have maybe two months ago. They looked awesome. Now they're skidding. The Rams are skidding as well. I'm not going to deny that. But overall, if I got to pick a winner, I'm going with the Rams. I don't think either one of these teams is going to win at all. Honestly, I think the Cowboys are a tougher team. I think the Packers are a better team. I'm going with the Rams with this one, but I think they'll get smacked in the next round. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen in these games. Who do you guys have? Are you excited about Wild Card Weekend like I am? Because I am pumped to watch football all weekend. I'm not doing anything. I'm not washing the dishes. I'm not showering. I'm not doing nothing. I'm watching football 24-7, 365, highlights, analysis. I'm doing it all. I'm celebrating with the Bucks. Unless the Bucks lose, then my weekend is, is ruined and completely shot. But if they win, I am pumped. 
on to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see my AFC analysis for the wildcard weekend, check out the video in the link here and I'll see you in the next one.